Burgundy is perfectly located between Paris and Lyon, and it's easy to reach by train from Paris or Strasbourg. Once you arrive, there are many ways to explore the area. For example, you can take a bus tour that stops at various wineries and vineyards in the region. You can also rent a car and drive around on your own schedule. If you're hoping to save a little money, buses are readily available and frequently travel throughout the area. Although costly, taxis are another option for transportation. A more adventurous, albeit time-consuming possibility is renting a bike and biking between villages or wineries throughout Burgundy. It's super easy to reach Burgundy by train. It's less than two hours from Paris and the scenery is beautiful. Once you reach the region, it's easy to navigate the area. Several options include regional high-speed trains, Inouye, and slower local trains called TER, or TER. The TER trains are a great way to travel around Burgundy. They're relatively cheap and allow you to take in more of the countryside. Renting a car allows you to explore Burgundy at your own pace. If you rent a car, drive the famed Route de Grand Cru wine route for a few hours. US drivers don't need an international driving permit, but getting one is still recommended before heading overseas and renting a car. Also, check that you have auto insurance coverage as separate or included in your travel insurance policy. Remember, not all insurance policies cover driving outside the US or wherever. Also, get travel insurance. The Burgundy bus system is economical and easily accessible. And just by looking at you, I think you should download the MobiGo app to help find schedules and bus stops in English. If you're visiting the region during spring, summer or fall, consider biking for some or all of your trip to Burgundy. The Le Tour de Bourgogne à Vélo is a circuit of 500 miles of bike paths with several places to rent bikes along the way. This is arguably the best way to explore Burgundy up close, and certainly the most stereotypically French. Taxi services are more expensive than other travel options in Burgundy, but several local options are available. Unfortunately, car sharing services such as Uber and Lyft have not arrived to this area yet. However, local hotels and wineries can help you find the rides you need, which is helpful considering how much you'll probably be drinking. Chablis is home to some of France's best white wines. Here you'll find Domaine Long de Paquis, a winery known for its award-winning wines made from 100% Chardonnay grapes. Other vineyards include Jean-Marc Bourquin and Domaine William Favre. You'll also find plenty of restaurants serving local specialities like Escargot and Coq au Vin. All wines produced in this incredibly quiet village are called Chablis. Peru's wines are of exceptional character made from grapes grown on land farmed for over 20 generations. Vineyards entirely envelop the town of Chablis. All grapes cultivated here are exclusively Chardonnay. No other type can be found in this microclimate. Chablis wines are renowned for their dryness, purity, crispness, and sophistication. The subsoil provides unparalleled character and personality to these wines. Furthermore, the ideal ripening conditions in a Chablis emi-continental climate allow for a perfect balance between sugar levels and acidity. The Burgundy wine region includes the departments of Côte d'Or, saône et loire Yonne, and Nivre. Chablis is a village in Burgundy's Yonne department and is home to the Domaine Long de Paquis. The Long de Paquis family has been making wine in Chablis since the early 1800s. The Domaine Long de Paquis vineyards are situated near the village of Chablis and cover 30 hectares of land. The vineyards are planted with Chardonnay grapes and are classified as Premier Cru. The Domaine Long de Paquis winery produces white, red, and rosé wines. The white wines are made from 100% Chardonnay grapes and are aged in stainless steel tanks. The red wines are made from Pinot Noir grapes and are aged in French oak barrels. The rosé wine is made from a blend of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay grapes. The main long de Paquis Chardonnays are consistently recognized for their quality. The Chardonnay wine in particular has a creamy, sweet, buttery smoothness with hints of lemon and a resonating salty high note. The Chateau de Chablis is a picturesque residence owned by the Counts of Beru since the 1600s. The vineyards boast a Renaissance porch, cellar, and 16th century sundial, as well as a 13th century gate and tower. The Chateau de Chablis is home to 34.6 acres of vines, including a unique terroir called Le Clos Beru. Surrounded by walls from the 13th century, this terroir is considered one of the most beautiful in all of Chablis. 
Athenais de Berru runs the Chateau de Berru winery. Her father, the Comte Eric de Berru, was working on a way to rejuvenate the land during the 1980s, but unfortunately passed away before he could see his vision come to life. Since his passing, his daughter continued to develop organic and biodynamic practices. Today, the vineyard uses natural fertilizers and pest control, and avoids any synthetics likely to harm the chateau's soils. The grapes are hand-picked and fermented with local yeasts before bottling without finding or filtration. Athenais de Berru says the secret to winemaking is focusing on each process which reduces the need for sulfurization. Sweeping views of the vineyard greet visitors as they approach the Chateau de Berru. This magnificent castle built in 1574 houses beautiful frescoes depicting scenes from Greek mythology and stunning panoramas of the countryside. After exploring the castle, guests can visit the tasting room to sample wines produced on site before making a purchase. Chateau de Berru ages their wines in large oak barrels and only adds the smallest amount of sulfur to produce flavors that truly reflect the unique geographical features of the soil around Chablis. Chablis is a historic town located in an idyllic hilly landscape. The vineyards and forests make it the perfect place for hikers and bicyclists looking to explore nature. Chablis's Chateau de Chablis is definitely worth a visit as it offers stunning views of the surrounding countryside. The Grand Cru Trail and the Circuit de Grand Cru de Chablis both offer short trails to allow you to explore the vineyards at a slower pace. Our next stop on this virtual wine tour is a detour to Sancerre. Sancerre is a famous French wine town known for its white Sauvignon Blancs, red Pinot Noirs, and its namesake, Sancerre. If you're looking to get away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life, then Sancerre is the perfect place for you. This relatively hidden gem is full of charming medieval buildings, beautiful fields of wildflowers, and artisans who are passionate about their wine. If you plan to spend the night gazing at the Soule River, the Chateau de Beaujeu is a 16th century home renovated with six light-filled rooms, or for more elegance, Stay at Le Chancelier, looking over the Sancerre vineyards and countryside. Your adventure can begin at the House of Sancerre headquarters, where local growers reside. In this beautifully restored 14th century castle, you can also watch a film documenting the region's rich history. Sancerre visitors can also visit Domaine Bourgeois, a family-run winery that produces some of Sancerre's finest wines, including their signature gold medal winning Cuvée de Murailles. Burgundy is also home to the city of Beaune, the capital of Burgundy wine country. We have a lot of love for this charming town. And if you're looking for superb wines and culinary delights, look no further. Domaine Bezassano is a family-owned and operated wine producer located in Beaune. The family has been making wine since 1850 and is now in its sixth generation of winemakers. The Domaine offers a discovery tasting and tour of their estate, which includes a visit to the cellar and tasting of up to six wines. The Domaine Bezassano is certified as a high-value environment by the French government. This means that the winery produces wines using traditional methods. A visit to the Domaine is an amazing opportunity to learn about wine production, both traditional and modern, while enjoying some of Burgundy's best wines. Whether it's Pinot Noir, Chardonnay or Aligote, Domaine Bezassano's wines produce excellent wines every year, with 2018 and 2021 considered exceptional vintages. Domaine Moissiné Bonnard is an incredible wine tasting experience that takes visitors on a journey through the different vineyards of Côte de Bonne. The 18th century cave at Domaine Moissiné Bonnard is a beautiful setting for tasting. The friendly and knowledgeable staff is passionate about the wines they produce. The 12 different appellations that are tasted provide a varied and interesting experience, and visitors will leave with a greater understanding of the different terroirs of the region. Domaine Moissonnet Bonnard is an unforgettable experience for anyone who loves wine, and a great way to wrap up the perfect trip to Burgundy. No matter how you decide to explore Burgundy or where your itinerary takes you during your stay, there are a few things worth keeping in mind when planning your trip. Be sure to book accommodations ahead of time. Restaurant reservations should also be made ahead as restaurants tend to fill up quickly. Some of the wine tasting experiences also require reservations and are normally jam-packed during peak season. So ultimately, we recommend making reservations anywhere you might want to go well in advance of your trip and then confirming them a few days before. On top of that, you should download Google Maps or another mapping app before leaving so that you can access directions. Bring comfortable shoes for exploring wineries on foot, plan extra time for unexpected detours, don't forget sunscreen if traveling during the summer months, and last but not least, 
enjoy every minute and every drop of the good stuff. There's no better place than Burgundy for experiencing some of France's best wines firsthand. With its numerous vineyards and wineries offering guided tours and tastings, not to mention its stunning landscapes and historical sites, this region offers something truly special for both wine connoisseurs and casual travelers alike. Whether you choose an organized tour or prefer exploring on your own schedule with a rental car or bus or even both, you won't regret taking advantage of this incredible opportunity. So grab your passport, and don't forget your shades, and get ready for an unforgettable journey through one of France's most beloved regions. We've added a link to each of the wineries in the description below. Remember to subscribe to Via Traveler's channel for more travel ideas. Thanks for watching, and until next time, pop a cork and start planning your next getaway.